how I found the bodies at that time it was 224. Okay, at 224, you can actually imagine the darkness that is outside now, and then also inside the house, there's this dark cloud that is inside because of the smoke. And then we went in the room, okay. No, I don't even I didn't even went I didn't even get inside the room. I just stood by the door and I saw what I saw. As because of its dark and everything, I saw the west west side that I could ever imagine of my sister goes. Okay, the picture that I saw them, it was this charcoal person. Actually, it's not a person because, as you can see right now, the, my human structure and skull, this round part I could see, this hand sitting like this, and then on the side, it's the baby. I could see the hand just lying there towards the other side of the bed. And right now, I, I just peeped and I fleshed out and I asked the police guy who was there, what is happening here, which is which? At the person on the side is the sister, the person on the side is the daughter. I, I, I just pushed him away and then to see again what, what is it that I might sing and I, then I got this clear picture of how my sister is and how the baby is. As a family, we are black. It is known we are going to gather the the the, the, um, the deceased belongings to can come I, here. Can I help my aunt to come here? Wait, to come here. So while they were cleaning the house, now is when they are discovering this is blood. There's a, a knife. There's a, a paper in the dustbin that has blood. There's clothes that have has blood. You understand? So that's when they actually thinking. No. This is not just as This is the first blood that I saw was in the kitchen, in the bedroom. Okay, when I piled up the the, the bed spread, I found the blood. Went out. My room, you know, uncle, no, there's blood in the bed and everything like that. My uncle and aunt said no. Probably the blood, the blood might be in the bed. Why? Because for the amount of blood that they were probably when the skin popped up or something, that's how the blood got them. Once we started clearing out the things in the kitchen, the the cupboard was lifted up and placed outside. There was blood there. You, I'll show you the pigs, tiny, tiny bits of blood that if, if, if I hadn't seen the blood in the bed and kept on still believing that it was just as awesome. Yes. And at that time, and now I, I saw the blood. The uncles are like, no, 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 probably because of the in the skin when it was cracking, that's how the blood got there. I'm still not sure, Uti. The way these people, they were found deceased and burnt, it's highly yeah, impossible. It's okay, now I'm furious with this blood. I'm asking my woman, no, this is blood, come and see this. The suspect, you'll actually see the kitchen door. This is the kitchen door, I'm here seeing the blood. My woman, come and see this, using the dining room door, going out. That's when I saw the stove, I went back, the guy is like, no, 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 can we call the police, can we call the police? He's like, freaking out. Who's this? The suspect. Yes, he's like, freaking, freaking out, like, as much as we are being shocked as we are. Uh, he calls me, sure, 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 can you please take the phone, call the police? And I said, no, you're seeing what I'm seeing, just call the police and tell them what you're seeing. As I went out, that's when the stove is, now the stove is in, it's like, it's in, in the, the light, sun. in the sun. Like, I could see that this, it was just pure, like, obvious, it's blood. And not just any tiny blood, but no, that is, yeah. A lot of blood. Like, a lot of blood. I don't know how much amount, but it was blood. And we get campaigns, we get messages. We have structures, we have support groups, but as women in the community, we don't support each other. I, sh I see that you have a black eye. I tell the other one, did you see her? You don't, uh, you don't say to the other one, let's try and find out what is the real problem. If we as the community, as women in the community, 
young, old, whatever, we can actually support each other, carry each other's pain like it's our own. Maybe these perpetrators, we as women, we raise these men, but they turn out to be like this. So the problem is with the women. Let's fix us, then the community as a whole, because we are the natures. Let's nature them to be men and let's support each other so that we strengthen each other through whatever campaign, through whatever. There's a campaign that's going on now that says Seguanele, it's enough. But it's it's not enough to just say it's enough. It's let's say it's enough and strengthen each other. Let's come together. Green, black, yellow, blue, Indian, brown. Let's just come together and say it's enough. It's our uh, male children, it's our brothers, it's our husbands, it's our uncles, it's our fathers. Because we can't blame the family of the suspect right now. He is the suspect. So as women, if we can carry each other and say, you know what, Mutilisi, I saw you have a black eye. What is going on? Tell me. Tell me. T tell me from your perspective what's going on. Then you will know that, no, this is it. serious and take whatever steps we can. But it is the community that has to deal with the whole thing of killing off women and children.